welcome back. It is a lot like silly putty or play doh, but a lot, lot cooler. Chemical Kim is here to show us how to make conductive slime. This is yes. a fun one, Kim. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, we're going to start off before we make the slime talking about conductive play doh, okay. of all things. So, um, what, what this would involve really, really simple and fun for kids, without a doubt. What an investigation in electricity is using play-doh yep. and then just a simple battery source yeah. and then some small LED lights, okay. which you could take apart those old Christmas lights that aren't working so well. Okay, okay. good. So yeah. um, that's a wonderful, free, easy source right there. Mm -hmm. So we are actually going to make wires out of play-doh. Okay, wow. so what I want you to do is roll your wire Okay. and I'm gonna roll my wire and you know, make it, it doesn't have to be really thin wire. Um, you make yeah. it a, a fairly thick wire. Um, it's not the nice thing about play-doh and especially for kids to be able to see sort of a thicker wire, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna lay my wire next to yours, Catherine. Okay. okay. I made mine a lot longer. <laughs> and we actually might knock the lights down for this little part. Okay. Because we just made a wire. Yes. And in order to get this light, of course, we have to pass electrons. Right. And what's unique about LED is that the electrons flow in only one direction. Okay. okay. So I always say if the, to the kids, if it's not working, then flip. Okay, oh, so okay, for good. example, I'm going to put this longer lead, okay, by mistake, on the negative to the positive. Nothing. Nothing happens. Okay. So if I flip it so that the positive flows to the negative, oh, your light that comes light. on. Okay. okay. So you're going to take the LED okay. and put the um, longer wire maybe into the orange. Okay. Okay. And then poke the, there you go, and okay. then let, let's see how this works. I'm going to attach that positive to that okay. wire. Into da, that da, da. we got exactly, a little like gas that. going. Right? See that? Yeah. And let's build on this. Okay, so let's stick a few more. Again, longer wire, right, being the positive yeah. into your orange. You care where I do it, Kim? Anywhere. And and also watch what happens to the white light, okay, when you do this. Do you notice getting dimmer? See how that's getting it's dimmer? It's sucking away some of the power. Exactly. And okay. what I love about this is that kids can investigate this mm -hmm. by extending their wire and adding more LED, mm. you know, pulling that voltage, okay, yep. pulling those electrons and seeing if they can, um, you know, minimize the flow or increase the flow and get those lights to be a little bit brighter. I like it. Okay, so let's, let's bring the lights down too and let's, let's look at making what's well, a short circuit or turning the light off, right? Okay. Okay, so stick this LED maybe right there where those two wires yeah. connect, wires we say, right? That's we our Play-Doh wire. And then you're going to short circuit this by pushing those two pieces together. <gasps> okay, there, because it interrupts the right, it interrupts the flow because the electrons will flow in its shortest path, right? I like it. So okay. you, students, you know, kids can kind of oh, turn the light on, turn the light off, right? Yeah, cute. So really, really, really fun. And then let's make a wire that's like a snail. Mm, okay, I like so it. let's stick your light maybe on his head or on his rump, wherever you want to put it there, head. Catherine. Okay, here we go. So attach the wire, attach the wire. Oh, what, 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 what is the error on this one? Oh, because it should be on both of them. Exactly, oh, exactly. Okay, and Catherine did that on purpose so that viewers at home I did. will, will oh. remember to connect them okay. on each end, right? We got so about then we a got minute, that, Kim. Like that. Okay, I love it. so let's make conductive slime. Okay. okay. Um, the recipe is using what's called polyvinyl alcohol, which you can find sort of in some face masks or glue. Okay. okay. And then liquid starch, which contains borax. Okay. All right. We're going to make some conductive slime. And I always say this is like alien snot, okay? <laughs> because without a doubt, Remember the movies Aliens with Sigourney Weaver? Yeah. Okay, start mixing that up, Catherine. Okay. And then just lift your little stirring apparatus and pull your snot. Look at your snot. Look at it. Does that not look like your alien snot? Ew. I love it. Like oozing like out of the alien mouth. Wah! Right? Okay. Well, let's look to see. Child this... in an adult body. <laughs> exactly. If this alien snot that I put, uh, you know, quite amount into this container yes. actually has conductive properties. So I'm going to see okay. if I can get electrons to pass through and my apparatus is set up so that when okay. the wires touch, there we go. So here we go. Let's stick this into an alien snot and it's conductive. Fantastic. So Watch out for those aliens because, you know, you might get a little bit of electrified. Ew. That is fun. All right. If you want more information about Kim's science experiments, you may find it. Go to our website, wzzm13.com, under Take 5 links. We'll be back. More Take 5 after this.